This is Steve Millard with Cozy, and I'm with Bob Drusendahl. We are talking about smart hire today. Um, Bob is the owner, president, CEO, and you know, Bob, we talk about finding people, and I hear there's a popular commercial on TV right now uh, where a company is talking about how great they're having, their, their sales are great, but the good, the bad news is we have to hire people, and you hear this sort of wah-wah in the background. And I think we all get that feeling when we have to hire people, it's really f hard to find the folks we, we need. But, I mean, you are made it a mission to sort of go out and find the right matches. Talk about what you're doing with Smart Hire for employers. Well, we're able to make a connection with most small employers will go out and spend, you know, basically six weeks trying to find somebody, a qualified employee. Um, they wind up often settling on someone, mm -hmm. and it costs them on their bottom line dollars because they hire someone that is a costly hiring mistake. I did that as a manufacturer of architectural doors. That's why right. I... A lifetime ago, right? Yeah. A lifetime in another world, yes. And so consequently, what my mission is to help COSY members find qualified. We seek to find three qualified people for positions. So I tell you, here's what I'm looking for. You, I, I'd stop thinking about it. You go out and do your work. You come back with three qualified folks that I can pretty much take through to the interview process. That's right. Yeah, the program is a friend of mine says you kind of set it and forget it. Right. All right. We, we sign people up. We have about a half hour conversation to match their culture mm -hmm. with the skill sets. For instance, one of our clients happens to be an attorney and he micromanages. Right. So the sister said, all right, well, you know that he micromanages. So you, you, know, you have to hire someone that's going to accept that kind of environment. That's really detailed direction and that kind of stuff, right? Exactly. You, right. you can't say anal retentive, can you? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> we have a two-second delay, so we're good. <laughs> no. so, but I mean, I think that also leverages, right, 25-plus years of experience that you have out looking at people in the background screening business and those kinds of things. So you have this innate sense of understanding people, and that, that helps you make these matches, right? That's true, because I've spent 25 years doing a little Snoopy dance. Right. You know, when I find a criminal history, for our client, yet I've been part of the Westside Catholic Center, which mm -hmm. is helping the homeless find jobs, and I've been in the business of helping them to find jobs. Right. So it, it's a two-way street for me, and I see the value to both, but what we want to do is help that small employer find the right people so that they don't have that headache right. out there, whether it be a bookkeeper, whether it be a customer service, sales, uh, social media, right. we're good in all those kinds of things. We, we do really well with active searches. Active searches meaning people who are out there looking for new roles, right? Correct, where there are more people looking for jobs than there are jobs right. that are qualified to do the job. And, but the magic is you're making sure that you sort of sift through all that chaff of all those folks who aren't qualified to get to the people who are. So the employer just deals with interviewing, doesn't deal with searching. Right. When we do that half-hour interview, we do something called qualifying questions. Uh -huh. So we seek to find out what they are. For us who is in, in the background screening business, we need people with integrity, correct? Right. Sure. So we're actually in the integrity business. So when is it appropriate to lie? Right. All right. If you say never, <laughs> and we've had that conversation, right. uh, that would be the wrong answer for us. Right. So you want to find out culture again mm -hmm. and skill set. So we want to find out if, in fact, they can, you know, work on a CNC, a machine tool environment, right. and be able to do the duties of the job. Uh, we also have assessments for that if they ever want to test for that. Right. But, you know, a good salesperson is, a, you know, basically someone who's going to be selling copiers. And by the way, we have a, a nice position of about sixty or $70,000 a year, first, <laughs> first year. I'm not looking right now about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's listening out there, right, right, sure, sure. send them our way. But we use our own applicant tracking system, mm -hmm. all right, uh, which we call pre-select, that allows us to go out to Indeed, to Glassdoor, to Craigslist, to the different job sites and, and do things. We go to different uh, places where the schools or colleges and universities to find things. And then we have something called special sauce, which allows us to find the people that are best qualified for that position for that employer. So that's great. Really taking that sort of the, the, the burden off the employer to get that done. I mean, how often when you sit down with the employer and ask those questions, does it actually change your definition of the job? Does that happen a lot? It does. Of course, they're going to give us a job description beforehand right. so we can research that to make sure that it we're not getting into that passive side like a, 
DOT truck driver where all the good truck drivers have jobs or IT, which is not an area where we're good at and require right. passive. So um, we want to clarify that so that when we go forward, we're going to have a, a, a win for the uh, employer as well as for us. Great. And we usually do that within 30 days, but we have a 60-day agreement. And the other thing that's important is we don't do it for 25% of the first year salary like many recruiters do. We only do it for, we do it for only 8%. Oh, wow. So that's a real help for an employer. Think about your value of your time. And, and that, oftentimes those 25, 30% fees can be steep if you're not looking for a real specialty sort of thing. So it sounds like that's a real option for a small boat. Most of the members of COSI that I know won't spend the 25%, right? right? So They won't the, fill the position and therefore they lose the revenue that the position should be generating and those kinds of things. Exactly. So right. we can do it in a set it and forget it scenario right. for 8% of the first year salary. Well, that's great. Bob Drusendahl with Smart Hire talking about how you can get help finding those employees that's so critical for your business.